Welcome back to that dad guy. It's September 23rd, 2022, and it's mild outside. It's 13 degrees. It's dry. Fiona hasn't shown up yet. If you don't know who Fiona is, it's Hurricane Fiona, and it's coming up the eastern seaboard, and um, we're in the target zone, I guess. Really, it's Nova Scotia, the coastline, uh, eastern Prince Edward Island are in the, in the zone. Moncton is going to get rain and wind. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> We're hoping that Fiona veers off or gets less angry and just dies down and it just becomes rain. But uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow, later on tonight, when uh, it should take place. But for right now, it's dry outside. I finished work. I didn't get wet. Actually, I managed to get through all of this week, even though we had rain scheduled every day this week for rain. Um, I managed to get through every day delivering the mail without getting wet. So it's a miracle. So thank you very much uh, for looking after me and making sure that uh, I didn't get wet. Today is mail day. It's Friday. It's been a short week. Uh, didn't have mail on Monday because of the Queen's funeral. Actually, September is going to be a lot of short weeks because we had Labor Day week early on in the in the month, and the stop was a four day. The Queen's funeral is four day this one. Next week we have Day of Reconciliation on Friday, so it's only a four day work week as well. Um, so whatever gets through the mail, I'm very happy for. And uh, today we have all these ten to go through. Now I didn't get any official. Post crossing cards this week so I guess things are getting held up a little bit but I'm sure they'll get through I know I've gotten messages of people saying that uh, they've received my cards so um, hopefully that means other people are sending cards and I'll get those as well so I'll have something to write this weekend at least I have to make sure though I save a slot at least one slot for October 1st so I don't know if I'm gonna write all the cards that I have available to me on this Sunday or if I'm going to hold one back just in case none of my other cards make it through the rest of the week. I have to think about that. We're going to talk about World Post Crossing Day or World Postcard Day um, very soon. But I want to go through the cards first. That's what you guys tune in for. And uh, you'll see what happens at the end. Now, the first card I have comes from Petra. She's in the UK. But her and her husband went to Vienna, Austria. And while she was there, she picked out this beautiful nighttime view of Vienna and then we've got some of the things here in the words above of the sites that you would see and on the back look at that beautiful UN stamp so 75 years celebrating there of uh, United Nations so thank you Petra oh, and if you noticed I'm using your hedgehog sticker. So the regular post-it notes that I had have run out and luckily Petra sent me some of these. So I have these to use in the meantime. All right, the next one I have comes from Kyler in Prince Edward Island. And so we have a town here in England that uh, is famous for War of the Roses, but uh, it has some of his uh, family history going next to it. The, uh, his last name is Bowness, and uh, there's a district here that uh, is a distant relative of his. So there's, always, he's very good. He very tiny writing. You can see from a distance. I won't show you close, close up. But uh, he's able to put so much history on the back of his cards and uh, so much information. I have tiny writing, but it still seems to not give me nearly enough space as he has with his. And there you got one of the carousel stamps. So thank you, Kyler, for that. The next one comes from Renee Lewis. So hopefully you guys are following her on YouTube as well. She's fantastic. Um, she's a professor. She's from Arkansas. And uh, she's a marine biologist. But here we got a space-themed one. And she asks on the question. Now, normally I take my questions on That Dad Guy Answers on Saturday. Um, I will make an exception for this one. But don't forget to go into uh, the last That Dad Guy Answers and leave me some questions so I've got something to answer tomorrow. Now, Renee's question that we're going to answer today is, given the chance, would you go into space? She said she used to dream about it, uh, what it was like to, to be an astronaut when she was growing up. So uh, would I go into space? The imaginative person in me would say, yes, I'd love to do that. The realistic person in me would say no because I have two kids and a wife that are here 
and uh, what if something went wrong on that trip? I know it's getting dark. If something went wrong on that trip and I didn't come back, uh, how selfish of that would be of me to go off to explore space and leave them behind? So if we bring the whole family up there, that'd be a big family discussion to say, okay, are you willing to leave everything you know and love behind in order to go explore space? I'm not sure that the whole family would do that. So uh, in this situation that I am in, uh, married with two kids and a hedgehog, uh, I don't think I'd go into space. It's a cool opportunity. I think if someone is in a single situation or doesn't have a family, they might be more apt to do it. So that's my thought process around going into space. It would be cool to see what's out there and explore things. But uh, some of the hardships and some of the trials that you go a long way, I don't know if at my age I would want to go through that. So thank you, Renee. All right, the next one is a blue cat. It's a postal blue cat, and it comes from Maria in Greece. She was hoping that uh, if she sent this, that no one else would send me this one. I don't get a lot of blue cat cards, even though I love them. Um, uh, it's like the Taozin Shen. Um, love those cards but don't get to see very many of them so when they do show up it's super special so I really appreciate Maria uh, for sending this oh, look at the stamp look at that coastline it's on my places to see list Greece um, my wife and I when we went to travel uh, Europe just after university we took three months and we traveled and did uh, 16 countries I think so very North American way of traveling, you know, speeding through and uh, saying, yeah, I've been to this country, even though you really haven't explored all that that country has to offer. But unfortunately, the budget we had set up for, um, we bought a car uh, that you can buy a car and you can return it later on. So you don't play the full place. It's like renting it, but you get a brand new vehicle, how it worked back in the day anyways. And um, we were driving through Italy and doing all sorts of uh, wonderful things, but also seeing how expensive things were. And we had we were going to go to Greece, but we realized if we went to Greece, we wouldn't have enough money to either get all the way home to when we needed to be back or to finish the route that we wanted. So at that point, we had to cut it out. So one day, Greece will be on our list to go back to see. So thank you, Maria. This one comes from Lewis in the United Arab Emirates. We've got a scene from Harry Potter with Hagrid uh, riding his motorcycle and Harry in the sidecar. I really love this sidecar. I mean, it looks like a blimp on the side. Uh, something nice about, I'm not a big motorcycle person. I like the idea of a motorcycle, but I think if I had a motorcycle, it would be my wife driving the bike and me in the sidecar. I don't, I don't know. I like the sidecar. It's like a, a little convertible that you don't have the responsibility of driving in. Uh, so that's cool. You get the idea or the feel of a motorcycle in the back, but you're attached. So you've got more uh, stability to the ground. All right, let's flip it around. Let's show you the stamps because they're really cool too. These are new ones I haven't seen um, him send yet. So I'm not sure if they're uh, new to the post office or just new coming to me, but I really appreciate them. We got a Ravenclaw. He always matches up. If he sends me a Star Wars card, we've got Star Wars stickers on the back. And now if we have Harry Potter card, we've got Harry Potter stickers on the back. He also sent a little sticker at the bottom. It says Polo, but... Uh, there's no sticker on it so I wonder if when it went through the machine because it's raised if the image came off but thanks Paul thank you to Paquita for that and thank you to Lewis for the card all right the next one comes from Kosovo and uh, I'm getting super cool countries and things uh, this comes from Andre in Estonia and he travels all around to uh, cool countries and locations doing meetups and uh, seeing different things and getting uh, different stamps, uh, stamps us in uh, cancellation marks. But while he was in Kosovo, he sent me this card, which I thought was very interesting. On the front, there's a statue of Bill Clinton. I didn't know such a thing existed that if he went there, but uh, the people of Kosovo appreciated his... Um, dealings when dealing with Yugoslavia at the time and uh, so in honor they put a 10-foot statue of him up in their country so thank you Andre for thinking of me as you continue to travel all right the next one comes from Media in Finland we've got an envelope here we've got a couple new stamps <coughs> excuse me 
This one we've seen before, but this one I have not. It's really cool. And then inside, and you'll see too, there's a whole bunch of cancellation marks. Different ones too. And inside we have a hedgehog, very reminiscent of Polo. And then we have this one here. That's onion. That's it. All done. I'm not sure what it means, but it's very funny. I like the image. I like the person holding the onion. Is that what this says up here? Is that what it translates to? Uh, she said these are a set of postcards that she had a whole series that she uh, had, but uh, she hadn't sent any of them to me before. I really like it. It's like a stick drawing with an onion. That's onion. That's it. All done. So, well, yeah, that's an onion. So thank you, Media, for that. Uh, she actually had sent me a message not too long ago saying, did you get any of my postcards? Because recently, she's, she's been very good at sending on a regular basis, and I get them. But the last few weeks, I haven't gotten anything from her. And then two showed up. Look at this ballet stamp. I think that's a new one as well. And we have more cancellation marks all over. And inside, we have this one. We've got a Moomin card. Him reading his book, leaning up against the other books. So I said when she sent this, it was 11 degrees. Well, it's not much warmer here. It's 13 today. So I think we're having about the similar type of weather, uh, minus the uh, potential hurricane that's coming. But, <laughs> but she also sent it as a birthday envelope. That was a little bit early for my birthday. Um, my birthday is in October, and we're still in September. But I do appreciate the card because it is a thousand shen card. It's a birthday thousand shen. It's a bicycle and the flowers and everything. Very sparkly. So I love the fact that uh, you remembered that my birthday is upcoming and that you wanted to get something in the mail before uh, it came and went. Uh, just don't worry, you're, you're okay. <laughs> it hasn't come and gone yet. But thank you. All right. Now, this one comes from Stephanie in the United States, and she's created her own World Post Crossing Day or Postcard Day. I want to keep wanting to call it Post Crossing Day. Uh, we should have a World Post Crossing Day, but this is a World Postcard Day on October 1st is when that will be celebrated. She wanted to make sure that uh, I got it before then. There are the stamps that she's included. Nice new car stamp there. You can see the world postcard there at the bottom. So thank you, very well done. Uh, I like, like the design, everything looks good. The piece, the, the letters that are in amongst all the flowers at the bottom and the dove holding the, the card as well. And then I got another world postcard day card. And this one comes from Spain. So Eva sent me this one and uh, her design. She says she started post crossing last October. So she didn't, uh, well, so this was the card she designed from last year. And there's the Spanish stamp that Eva put on it. So I am pleased as punch to be getting World Postcard Day cards already. And um, if you've seen my video from the yesterday, I guess it was, we were talking about it. I was showing you some of the different ones that I had to send out and that um, people were asking whether I was going to participate in it or go to a meetup or anything. There isn't a meetup uh, here. The only one we had was that one in July. And that was the first and only one we've had in Moncton. And then we had the uh, subsequent ones that went in Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island as well. Uh, there is one planned next summer, I think, for Newfoundland. And uh, who knows, maybe there'll be another one get planned here again, but nothing for October the 1st. Um, in communication with Petra, I know that London is having one October the 1st, but uh, they're also going to be having a, a mail strike and a bus strike. And so there's some challenges around it. So hopefully everybody who gets to attend that uh, goes off without a hitch. And if you're in another location and you have an opportunity to go to a meetup, do it. It's a lot of fun. And uh, you get some cool cards out of it. Your hand does get a little uh, 
cramped from signing your name or uh, using your stamper or whatever you have to it, but it, it's cool meeting other people and getting the chance of uh, kind of spreading what we like about the hobby. But that being said, I went ahead and made a world postcard card this year. So I showed you some of the blank ones that I had to send out um, from previous years or from previous people and decided that, you know, I'd go ahead and uh, with some encouragement, I went out and designed my own. And I've done it in limited numbers. So I've only made 30 of them. And uh, I put 2022 on it. So come next year, it won't be as good to have it. I know the cards like, this one here doesn't have a date on it, so you could, if you had extras, you could use them whenever you want. The one thing, I mean, this is great cardstock. I love this, and that's what I hope for. If you'd gotten one of my That Dad Guy cards, you'll find that they're a little bit flimsy, and I didn't like that. And when I went in to make this one, I said, you'll put it on the thickest cardstock you have. It's going to be a postcard. And uh, they said, yeah, we'll put it on the thickest we have. And unfortunately, it came back a little flimsy again. So I'm going to hopefully put some washi tape on them and uh, some stickers to try to fortify them a bit. And uh, if you can think of another place to go, maybe like Vista Print or one of these online places, if I have more time, a uh, notice that is, to, to do it, then I will go to one of those places next time and get my cards printed. So I'll take some suggestions. Tell me where I should go online or... Um, other stores that maybe I should go to. Uh, this time I went to Staples, which is a an office store here in Canada to have it done. And they were quick, they were friendly. Uh, I was in and out with uh, my image and all the cards printed cut uh, with less than 10 minutes. And i um, super happy to have it done and ready because I'm gonna have all these cards to rate and I want them to be ready to go out for August for, or October 1st. That being said, let me show you the card. So this is what I've come up with. We've got Polo, he's in it this time. Um, is this gonna, the first off World Postcard Day card that I've created. I wanted it to be something funny. I wanted it to be something cute. I wanted it to be something about that dad guy. And uh, Polo's been a big part of uh, that dad guy videos at the end of each one of them. And uh, I thought this was a funny pose he did once. He's not much for being in a ball or being uh, on his back. So I caught him once when he was reaching out and uh, I just fit nicely. So I got 30 of those and you can see they're not super thick. <laughs> so not happy with the thickness, but hopefully whoever gets them will be happy with the, receiving them and that it's limited and that uh, next year I will think ahead, plan further ahead and uh, maybe get one of your guys' suggestions to figure out where I can get a thicker cardstock. And I may want to do some new That Dad Guy postcards too. Um, I've had the ones that I had for a while now and uh, my numbers are, are slimming in those as well. So at some point I may look at making some new ones. I like designing them. I had fun actually designing this postcard. Um, it was surprising. I haven't really ever done a postcard uh, before other than That Dad Guy one. So it was fun to, to create an image that hopefully other people will enjoy too. That is my week. That's the week at the post office. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, these 10 cards or nice surprises to see. I appreciate uh, everyone who has sent them in. Um, I appreciate everyone who writes to me and gives me suggestions on videos or things that maybe I haven't heard of before. Um, certainly on Wednesday, I got a message from Nicole in the States and she told me about the effort to try to get a Canadian post-crossing stamp made. I didn't know anything about that. Hadn't gone on the forum and she found it, sent me the message. I created a video about it and uh, hopefully we'll get some traction on that. And more people will hear about it and send in letters and postcards and let's get that happening. So that was all of a result of one of you guys um, taking the time to send me a message and say, hey, did you hear about this? Leslie in the States, number of times has done that, reached out, told me about things. Um, yeah, it was a number of you have make a, a good point of sending me a message and uh, keeping me well informed. 
which I get messages saying, uh, how do you make so many videos? Where do you get your ideas? So these are where my ideas come from. Either it happens during the day and it's something I experienced and I want to share it to you about, or someone's made me aware of a situation and I think it's uh, something that we should uh, delve in further and I try to do a video on. Well, this video has been about a bunch of different things, but for now, have a magical week. Like follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?